So it was very logical when this first appeared on the horizon for us to take a really close look at it simply because we knew about visualization, we knew its potential, we saw this as the latest iteration, the latest in possibility for learning through visualization. So we have you know, wonderful textbooks, um, we can get some you know, YouTube clips and whatnot, but the 3D experience really brings it to life in the classroom. Kids are excited about it, kids are reaching out, you can break things down um, and just do, do so much more. Seeing the 3D video side by side and comparing it in a 3D way, actually seeing how the chromosomes come out, because I don't think kids really could visualize how spindles and chromosomes actually separate then they could actually start to ask questions. They're like, oh, I wasn't picturing it like that when you talked about it in the lecture. And then they would ask some great questions about how that actually happens. When uh, we did the section on cells, they could see the cell anatomy and it came right out in front of them. And we were, I was able to refer back to the video and say, remember how you saw it in the video? And they go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I get it. Our teachers would draw our pictures on the board and we'd, we'd get like a little image that we thought would be exactly like it, but then now with the 3D technology, we actually see what a gene actually looks like. You get different perspectives of things. Um, she sh like on DNA replication, she shows us videos on that, and you get to see, you really get to see the whole thing. It looks pretty cool. I liked it a lot. It was surprising to know that we could actually do that in like a school class because I've only seen it in movies. I have noticed a large difference with it staying with them. Um, we do a lot of pre-testing and post-testing in, in the classroom just to see if um, they're understanding the concepts and students did a lot better afterwards. The 3D has really helped them kind of remember back when they're sitting down and taking a test. They can kind of remember the video and then kind of fit in all the steps and make sure that they have them all. So that piece is really helped with retention. You, you remember all the images that you were seeing a lot better than just like standard because that's the way you've always been like taught. It does stick with me longer because I just remember like the fun experience and like how cool it was. And so yes, I do remember it and how it was the test. The information does tend to stick with me longer in 3D because I have an image to put with the information I'm receiving. Our most outstanding 3D experience has been with teachers and how they react to 3D content. Before they see it, they think this is a game, going to be game-like or low-level, and after they see the content, across the board, anywhere in our district or as we've shown it around the state, teachers say, this is way better than what we see in theaters. This really works. This is a much higher quality than I thought. Uh, my immediate reaction was, wow, this is something that's going to catch students' attention and really motivate them. Uh, the wow factor engaged the students. There were some kids that were uh, behavioral problems before, were not behavioral problems anymore. The 3D technology is like an interactive way of learning and gives you like a broad picture of the knowledge that you're being given. I can do a dissection right here in 3D. I don't have to worry about you know, sharp instruments and all the other kinds of uh, issues around dissection, but I can say, hey, take a look, boom, 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 and walking a kid through uh, that process. Yeah, I feel a lot more engaged and excited when I learn the 3D because I don't really get it all. I'm not really talking to people. I'm more focused on what's happening on the screen. I was motivated to show them more because they were motivated to see it more, which motivated me to show up. So it was one of those things as they kept pushing me, I wanted to make it work for them. During open enrollment, we actually got a significant portion this year back because one of the stops was my classroom and I was showing all the technology, especially the 3D that I was highlighting, and that got students and parents really excited to come to Monarch. Every time you'd walk into this classroom where they're in the midst of the 3D, you could hear a pin drop. Teachers are teaching and students are just in their desks big old goggles on, focused and uh, really into the lesson. Um, again, I hear from teachers and students that it brings it to life.